Okay, another area which you have an interest is financial planning. Yeah. Okay, and, and there's this recommendation from the Senate committee yep. that appear to water down the regulations yeah. introduced by Labor. Are you concerned that they're being watered down too no, much? No, not at all. And I was on the original parliamentary joint committee when we had the inquiry into Storm Financial, Apis yeah. Prime, etc. I went through that with Bernie Ripple as chair. Bernie yeah. did a good job. And now I've got the inquiry into ASIC about financial planners and Senator Mark Bishop, who leaves in a couple of weeks' time, has done an excellent job. We report on the 24th of June. There is no watering down. And, of course, from that original PJC committee, it was a case of when you're a financial planner, the interest of the client is first and foremost, number one, not negotiable, and that certainly will remain. So instead of being watered down, do they need to be toughened to address issues such as vertical integration? Yeah, good point. And this is my personal opinion. When you say vertical integration, your viewers would say, what's that? Well, you've got a company with a product here, an investment product. You've got a financial planner here and a client here. Commissions are gone there. But we need to have a situation where the planner does not advise, give you the advice simply because they're going to get a commission from the company, this vertical integration. And that's why so this is, this is like an advisor who works under the umbrella of a big bank recommending yeah, products. Exactly. About 80% are from yeah. the big banks. So yeah. very important that it's in the interest of the person because you know, $1.8 trillion of super, about 30% self-managed, this is an industry that's bigger than the mining industry and growing at a rapid rate with all the superannuation. So we're very strict on seeing that the client gets the best advice. We've only got one in five Australians seeking financial advice. We need to grow that as well. Terry Butler, do you have concerns about the changes in this area? Absolutely. Um, when I was a lawyer, I had a, <clears throat> a legal duty to act in the best interest of my clients. Mm. Financial planners are in a position of, of great trust and responsibility and ought to have the same responsibilities. And we're seeing at the same time as we're seeing concerns about watering down of the obligations of financial planners to act in the best interest of their clients, uh, significant cuts in this budget to ASIC, the regulator. I don't want to see uh, any loosening of the regulations. The lessons that we learn in the global financial crisis is that financial services is one area of the market that requires government intervention to protect people who are vulnerable and to ensure that people are acting in the best interests uh, of their clients. Why would we lose those lessons now by cutting the regulator uh, and by making it, uh, making the, lowering the obligations on financial planners? And I don't want to see the conditions for another bond or another scase. I want to see great rigorous regulation of financial services because people who are not sophisticated investors rely on that advice and they should be able to feel greatly confident that the advisor has a legal obligation to them to act in their best interests.